Welcome to the uh, to the first uh, Noodle office hours. So my name's Michael. I'm one of the developers behind Noodle, also one of the four uh, co-founders. And uh, I'm Kotte. I am a software developer as well. All right. <laughs> Richard says not to interrupt the geeking out, but I've got a question about page routers. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. This is one of those coming from the bubble to the noodle world questions again, as always. But um, one of the things I struggle a little bit with is using page routers. I think I understood that um, using a page router is a good idea, for example, on a page with like tabs, like a dashboard page where you have like a, you know, my messages, my learning, my whatever kind of different tabs. And I want to send people into the my learning page with a specific course in the path parameter. Um, sometimes I find that I actually just end up getting just that page and not the dashboard around it. And so it's just maybe a confusion as to how the page router is supposed to be set up, if that makes sense. Right, so it's when you have multiple page routers. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, definitely, this is an app, for example, where the login page is on its own specific page. And then there's a dashboard page and within there, there's sub pages like my messages, my yep. lessons. Yep. Yep. No, that's a good question. So um, the navigate node in Noodle, it actually only works on one page router. So if you're in a situation where you need to navigate in multiple ones, uh, you can't just rely on the navigate node. You could do multiple navigate nodes in a row, I guess, uh, but it's better to use the navigate to path node and then just um, type in your full path in there. Um, it's a bit different than the navigate node in the sense that it's one step more low level. So you would have to add your page parameters manually, for instance, with a function or a string format or something like that and do the question mark, um, uh, page param one equals something else. You have to do that, uh, in the string format, uh, or function, uh, but the navigate node actually has a limitation, um, for that specific scenario. Yeah, I, I, coming again, coming from the bubble world, what we would have done there is to say, okay, we're going to navigate from the login page to the dashboard page, and we're going to send some query parameters like tab equals two, course ID equals, and then that stuff will be interpreted when the dashboard page loads, and the dashboard page could then maybe at the like page level do some navigation within that page router to show if it's tab equals two, then it's going to navigate within that page to the my lessons page when the dashboard page loads or something yeah. like that. I, I guess you could build such a, a construct like manually by um, on the page. Like you can send those page parameters by just adding them uh, to the page inputs node. And then if those exist, yeah, you could use logic to trigger navigate nodes. So basically when this page loads and it has a page router inside of it, it could look at the page parameters and then uh, do navigate. Uh, so you would have a two-step navigation. I guess one th that's the major uh, downside. It would first load one page and then it would navigate to another page. So it's probably not as performant. The navigate to path, it, you tell it all the subpaths. Like even if you have five nested page routers, it will know exactly which page to render all the way down to the last one immediately. Uh, so it would, uh, it would be a bit quicker. Shrey says, I happen to have a working app with something like this, but I only use the navigate node, like Michael's better approach recommendation. Yeah, yeah. look at that. Yeah. And I say in general, it, this works fine. Like it's, uh, it's rare that you get any practical uh, downsides in terms of performance. Uh, so if, if this works well, then I would, I would be, be happy with using this as well. I mean, if that happens, maybe in several places in the app, it could be worth building a logic node that kind of processes some input from the login page and then outputs the string that's needed. Yeah, to go. I, I think Navigate the Path can take an input, right? I think Navigate the Path is just a string, but yeah, it can take an input, so you need to build that string somehow. Yeah. But uh, I think cool. it would make sense to actually extend the Navigate node so you can actually do this multiple hierarchy navigation at the same time as well and get multiple inputs for the different pages. You can also take the page parameters that you get as inputs and mount and unmount things based on those as well. So you'd not, it's not always that you have to use a page router uh, for your kind of sub parts um, of your page. You know, maybe if you have a couple of different tabs on one, you could just, you know, you can send that tab 
to a tab component and then that tab component will say you know oh this is tab id number two then i'm gonna show tab id number two and that's kind of not really a separate page it's more like a component that understands uh what uh what you want want it to show essentially in general page routers uh are uh good to use when you need to be able to like send a link or be able to refresh and still be on the same page because they they uh, uh, basically transform the url into a position in your app or like a page in your app so uh, if you need to send a link be able to refresh in your browser use back and forward in your browser if you ever need that then you need a page router if you don't need that, if you don't care about the current URL, you don't care about back and forward in the browser, then you might as well just use um, mount, unmount different components or use the component stack because it won't handle URLs. Mm -hmm. um, so that's sort of the, a good rule of thumb for when you need to use uh, page routers versus you don't. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for today. Uh, thank you for your questions. Thank you for, uh, for everything. Uh, have a good week and a good evening or good morning, <laughs> wherever you are. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.